Hello. So here I am. Um, unlike previous videos which you've seen me doing on this in the last day or two, um, I'm on a, a bog standard laptop. I have no microphone plugged into this. I have no earbuds in um, because this is maybe what we're expecting a lot of students, a lot of parents to already have in the house. And you'll notice straight away the sound is not as clear as it was uh, using the type of microphones which I already had set up. Um, so what I want to do is um, see what's the best we can get out of this, what's the, uh, the closest we can get to that real in the room um, atmosphere so that it's as close as it can be to a, a proper one-on-one -on -one lesson. Well, there's a couple of things we can just check uh, which I briefly covered in a previous video, so I'm going to go over these now. I'm going to see how it affects it when all we've got is the bog standard laptop. So I'll share my screen with you. It will do eventually. It's a little bit slow. This it's a Windows um, laptop and uh, they tend to be a little bit slow. But here you go. Right, I'm going to get things. I'm not sure that the window itself shows up when I do this, but I'm going to open my audio settings. Um, which is on your main um, your main Zoom page. Um, and I can click on audio. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this automatically adjust volume. So this might take a little bit of setting up with students. You might want to sit there and just make sure they're not too close to the, the uh, microphone. If it's getting a little bit loud and a little bit peaky, they can back off or you can use the volume setting here to adjust it. Um, that's perfectly normal. So um, I'm going to click the advanced tab here. And as we covered before, show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. This is really important. So we're gonna click that. Now, um, even with this clicked with a couple of students and with a bit few experiments I've been doing, uh, I found that there is this willingness of Zoom, it's written into Zoom, to try to get rid of uh, background noise. Now, obviously that's important, but it does mean that it's running little codecs which are stopping sounds and they're cutting in and changing levels. And that can be a little bit, um, well, annoying when you're uh, doing a lesson and actually it can start to make the sound cut out um, quite a bit more than you'd want when you're trying to listen to your student. So what I'm going to do is take the suppress, suppress persistent background noise and disable and suppress intermittent background noise and disable. I'm going to keep the echo cancellation on uh, because for a lot of you, you will hear uh, sound coming out of laptop speakers. If the echo cancellation is not on to some degree, um, it will, uh, you'll just hear voices pinging back and forth and it'll get very annoying, you'll get quite a lot of feedback. So leaving that there, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to uh, stop sharing the screen. It's being a bit slow. There you go, right. Close my settings. Now, I now have something which says turn off original sound. So that's telling me the original sound's turned on. If I turn off the original sound, We'll get back to this. If I turn on original sound, this is what we've got. So um, I'm going to click this. Uh, there's a little option I've noticed. I've not used the Windows version of this before. I've been using a Mac. Uh, so on this Windows version, I had a little drop-down menu next to my green um, my green padlock, and it asked me to select a microphone, which is just the internal one, and it will always use the original sound. So now I have this set up, uh, I think, as well as we can do for just a laptop. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a great improvement just on the starting tinny sound that we always had. Uh, and I think this is something where we can start to make progress with students and make this progression to online um, training, especially in the current climate, as uh, seamless as possible and keep some structure and some order in people's days and um, keep calm and carry on. So now go wash your hands.